Welcome. Variation. Three variables P, Q, and R are such that P varies directly as Q and inversely as the square of R. A, when P is equals to 18, Q is equals to 24, and R is equals to 4. Find P when Q is equals to 30 and R is equals to 10. Four marks. B, express P in terms of Q and R. One mark. Then the other part. C, if Q is increased by 20% and R is decreased by 10%, find 1. A simplified expression for the change in P in terms of Q and R. 3 marks. And then the last one, the percentage change in P. 2 marks. So that is the full question. 10 marks. Let us go to the first part. Now for the first part of the question, uh you are going to begin by writing these uh, variation three variables p q and r are such that p varies directly as q so we won't write that p varies directly as q and inversely as the square of r so p this is how we write it p varies so p varies directly as q and inversely inversely as the square of r so that is how you're supposed to write it p varies directly as q and inversely as the square of r now when we remove this um, sign of proportionality we will have to introduce a constant and we're going to let the constant be represented by k so we have k q divided by r squared so after writing that now uh, we can insert what we have p is equals to 18 so p is equals to 18 but 18 there is equals to then q is equals to 24 so here you can just multiply k times 24 and then um, r is 4 so therefore r squared will be Four squared which is 16 now after um, substituting those values of p q and r it will not be possible to find k so now i want to make k the subject of the formula so k will therefore be given by k will be given by you're making k the subject of the formula k will be given by 18 times 4 squared divided by 24 you're simply solving for k and this will give uh, k as just use a calculator to work out this 18 multiplied by 16 divided by 24 and uh, working out use a calculator you will get k be represented by 12 k is 12 now after getting k is 12 now we can insert k in this equation so now we have uh, this variation as p is equals to k is 12 so you'll have 12 q divided by r squared as simple as that now the question is find p when q is equals to 30 and r is equals to 10 so what will be p p is equals to 12 multiply by q is 30 and then r is 10 and remember it is r squared so r squared will be 10 squared uh, so working out this uh, this is what you're going to get 12 times 30 this will give uh, 3.6 3.6 so that is how you're supposed to so the first part of the question now let's go to the second one second one is uh, easy express p in terms of q and r express p in terms of q and r so this one is uh, very easy of course we've already done this so p is equals to remember we had written this p is equals to k q divided by r squared so what you just uh, inserting here is k we found the value of k so it will be 12 q divided by r squared that is uh, p in terms of q and r 
as easy as that. Now let's go to the second part, uh, part C now. If Q is increased by 20% and R is decreased by 10%, find one, a simplified expression for the change in P in terms of Q and R. So Q is increased by 20%. So what will be new Q? New Q will be, if it is increased by 20%, it will be 120%. That is 100 plus 20 percent. So 120 percent. That is a one 120 over 100. Then Q. That will be the new Q. Then R is decreased by 10 percent. So new R. New R. So new R. New R will be. It is decreased by 10 percent. So it would be 100 minus 10 percent. That will be 90 percent, which is 90 over 100. R. Now, if that is uh, what has happened, uh, Q is increased by 20%, R is decreased by 10%, you're supposed to find a simplified expression for the change in P in terms of Q and R. So what would be new P? So new P will be given by new P. New P will be given by, uh, remember our relationship relationship that is here it was a p is equals to k q divided by r squared don't forget that so now when you come here uh you write uh, this will be k then for q we have now 120 over 100 like that q that will be the new Q. Then divided by new R will be 90 divided by 100 R. And don't forget that this one is uh, squared. It is R squared. That one will be squared. So that will be the new P. Now we need to simplify this. We need to simplify this now. So new P. So new P will be given by new P. So new P will be given by, so you just get K multiply by, this will be 1 1.2, 120 divided by 100, this will be 1.2 Q, then divided by 90 divided by 100, this will be 0 0.9, so 0 0.9 squared, will give uh, 0 0.81 r squared so this would be 0 0.9 r when you square that you get 0 0.81 r squared so that is what you get so new p new p will be given by so k multiply by now you can just work out this 1.2 divided by 0 0.81 1.2 divided by 0 0.81 this one will give 1.48 1.48 and then you now have q divided by r squared so when you is uh, just to represent new p so now when you multiply this you'll get 1.48 1.48 k q divided by r squared so now that is the new p um you're supposed to write a simplified expression for the change in p change in p change in p i think um, when you look at uh, p uh, the old p was uh yeah the original the original p was uh p is equals to k q divided by r squared now we have the new the new p which is this so this is um the expression uh, for the change in p in terms of q and r
as you can see this one is the expression the change this is the new one now um if you want to me look at this question again uh the, the change so there's something here you have to be very careful about a simplified expression for the change in p in terms of uh, when you want to get the change uh, you're going to take the original change the change something i've seen here so to get the change you're going to take the this is the new p p prime subtract the original the original is p and this one will be uh, you just take the the new p which is 1.48 k q divided by r squared okay then subtract the original which is um, k q divided by r squared this is now the change this one is representing the change since you are required to get the simplified expression for the change in p change in p so to get the change you have to get the new subtract the original so the new p this is the new p then the original was here the original the original is here you can see it here this is the original so when you subtract these you'll get uh, the change in p is uh, 1.48 subtract 1 this is the same as uh, 1.48 subtract 1 this will be 0 0.48 k q divided by r squared so this is now what represents the change when you subtract this 1.48 k q divided by r squared minus k Q divided by R squared, you get 0 0.48 just because this is a 1.48 subtract 1. So this is now the change. The expression uh, for the change in P. Now, after that, uh, the final thing is uh, to calculate the percentage, the percentage change in P, the percentage change in P. So how do we get the percentage change in P? So percentage change will be given by change divided by the original, original multiply by 100. And we have already uh, calculated the change. In this part of the question, we were getting the change in P. And you've got the change in P, and this as this eh? this is the change in p that is the change in p so we just uh, need to set it here 0 0.48 k q divided by r squared that is the change divided by the original that is the original p the original p is here the original p is here k q divided by r squared we just need to divide with that so k q divided by r squared then multiply by 100 so you notice that this one will divide this one will divide this one will divide k q divided by r squared we divide that so it remain with 0 0.48 multiply by 100 and this one is you you're going to get 48 percent and this one is um, an increase it is an increase of 48 percent so that is uh, simply how you're supposed to solve that question.